Hey everyone, it's Ali Lindley here from One Number, and today I want to chat to you about subscriptions in Tableau Cloud or Tableau Online, which is a fantastic way of getting an update on some of the key metrics that you're wanting to follow from your Tableau dashboards without needing to go through the whole secure login process, navigating to find each of those individual dashboards. These updates can come straight into your inbox, which is fantastic. So if you want to set any of those up, the key is going to be to navigate to that particular dashboard in Tableau Cloud or Tableau Online. Now, this is my dashboard that I'm going to set up my subscription for. I can, if I want to, set up a particular view. So we could get this, uh, you know, this view to, to filter or to just pertain to a certain, uh, you know, dimension level. So we just want to see for a particular region or state, something like that. And by going to watch, and subscriptions, I can begin to set up my subscription either for the entire workbook or just for my little view that I've built now. We're going to chat through this in some more detail, but I just wanted to say if you're interested in learning some more about Tableau, we've got a whole suite of classes from beginners classes all the way through to advanced Tableau users. Uh, we've got a whole calculations class just looking at sets, parameters and LODs and how to use those well in the real world. And you can get access to all of our classes for 50% off using our Tableau training passport, which is an offer that we've put together. We think it's an amazing way to learn about Tableau. So we'd love to see you there. So just to start this off, here's where you can subscribe some of our users. So for instance, if I want to sign Eric up to this, uh, to this dashboard subscription, we can do that. So here I've got Eric and all the users on our Tableau Cloud. Now all the groups that you create uh, will be available to you here. So you can sign other people up to these subscriptions too, which I guess is helpful if you're a manager uh, or someone <laughs> trying to, you know, put useful information in other people's hands. However, I do want to say we just want to be careful that the people who really need this information are the people we're signing up to the dashboards. You know, sometimes it can it can kind of be the case that we think it would be good for these people to get access to this regular subscription, but actually they don't want it and they're not going to check it out. And so let's just do our due diligence and make sure that everyone who's going to get the subscription actually wants it and is going to use it. Otherwise, maybe that could be frustrating. You've got the option to just check subscribe me as well and uh, and add yourself in there too. Now, we do have the option to just share this view or the entire workbook. Now, if you select this view, that is going to bring with it the information that you filtered down to, which is really nice. So if you're working in New York and you don't want to see the information for all the other states that you, you operate in, well, you can just filter it down to New York and that's totally fine. That's the update you're going to get. You can also check don't send if view is empty, which is fantastic. So if you're, if you're subscribed to a daily sales update, right? And it, it's just showing you the a view of today's sales, today's transactions, whatever it might be, and you don't have any transactions for today, that's a sad sight, you won't get an update uh, because your view is going to be empty, right? So it's not going to send. That's that's cool. Then you've got the option to receive an image or a PDF or both. Um, I think use an image if you just want a snapshot, right? You just want a quick update on what that view looks like. Use a PDF if you're wanting to share this with other people. You're going to forward this on to a manager or people who are going to take a good hard look at this information. PDFs are also much easier to print and you're going to get a better quality image out of a PDF than you will out of an image. So for instance, I've used an image update before when all I want to see is has any other information been added to or taken away from this dashboard. So I'm tracking updates and I just wanted to see have you know have more dimension level information uh, been added but pdfs like i said when you're wanting to share them with someone else i think that's a nice touch you can do both i tend to do one or the other then you can always put your subject in here so you can say uh daily update from um dashboard <laughs> you know something really really specific and you can put your message in here um, you could say some of the things that i think are helpful are things that you want to check right check one check two check three so you could say hey team um 
here is your monthly update of our sales dashboard. The three things I'd love you to keep an eye on are this metric, this metric, and this metric. You know, let, let me know how things are changing or, or like help us identify any trends you see, things like that. Uh, maybe that's useful to pop this in here as opposed to just being like, here is your update. You know, give people, prompt them with some questions or some pointers and how you want them to interact with the dashboard. I think that can sort of get a little bit more value out of this as we go. Now, lastly, actually putting the schedule together, uh, the only the only sort of flag I'd have on the schedule is you don't want to subscribe to people. You don't want to subscribe people to a dashboard that is updating, uh, that, that the subscription is coming through more regularly than the dashboard is being updated. Does that make sense? So if your data is only being updated once every two weeks and you're sending people through a weekly update, that's probably going to be superfluous. And they've got one dashboard that is coming through, they're being alerted to, they're getting an email, but they've already seen it. Right, so that can be really frustrating. So that would be the one flag. Make sure you're checking when is the data updating and when is the dashboard coming through. So for instance, if we wanted to say, we're gonna send this through monthly and our data updates on the first of every month, why don't we send it through on the second of the month? You know, so then you're getting the most up-to-date information and if there's any delay on the update for whatever reason, right, like it hasn't updated by 3.30, well, uh, you know, on the first day of the month, by the second it should be done, it can come through. We can change our time zone if we want to, that can be super useful. And then we can subscribe. Okay, so those subscriptions are in. Now, the last thing I wanna show you is you click on your little uh, initials up at the top right and go to my content. And I wanna show you, if we navigate over to subscriptions, here I'll see a list of all the subscriptions that I have. What's quite nice is I can change the frequency, the subject, the empty view mode, the format, all of that just from this menu, which is super nice. The other benefit of this menu is over time, you know, we create dashboards that are pertinent for a particular place for a particular time. And perhaps over the course of a couple of weeks or months, that dashboard doesn't become as relevant or as useful as it was when it was made. And so I don't need a daily update anymore. Maybe I just want a monthly update. Maybe I don't want an update at all. I can come and manage all of that and bring some order to the chaos. So you're not just getting this influx of emails with dashboard updates. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully that uh, sort of points you in the right direction. If you've got any other questions that you want us to chat through, you're welcome to put them in the comments below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. But otherwise, thanks so much for joining us. And maybe we'll see you at a Tableau class this fall slash winter. Awesome.